Now at five, Allen County spending thousands of dollars on a court case from Indianapolis. We've obviously had our share of high profile cases over the years. The man accused of blowing up a home and killing two people is now on trial. Good evening, everybody. Bob Leonard faces more than 50 charges, including two counts of murder from a fatal home explosion in Indianapolis in 2012. The trial got moved here because of publicity in Indy. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner has more on what it takes to coordinate a case this big. For the next several weeks, this courthouse will be home to many of the Indianapolis media, as well as one of the most high-profile trials Allen County has ever hosted. The November 2012 explosion killed two people and damaged or destroyed nearly 80 homes in the Richmond Hills neighborhood. The devastation, all caused by a flawed attempt to cash in on insurance money. Prosecutors say Bob Leonard, his half-brother Mark, and three others filled Mark's girlfriend's house with natural gas and ignited it with a microwave and gas fireplace. Besides the venue change, the case's exposure also brought in 800 potential jurors. It's easily 10 times the size of the average jury pool we would call for a similar case. That means the judge could potentially have to read each charge and instructions 16 separate times. To avoid that, the court pre-recorded a 27-minute video of Judge Fran Gold doing so. We're talking about eight hours of talking that we're, we're trying to save her from. With more than 50 charges comes an enormous amount of information. A semi-truck is full of more than 2,000 pieces of evidence. There is also 160 prosecution witnesses. There's really nowhere around the Allen County Courthouse to park a semi. So add that to the logistical challenges. From juror lunches to office supplies, this trial will initially cost the county a lot before it gets reimbursed. It could easily run into, into a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Thanks to advances in technology, the Indianapolis media won't have the same camp set up like that of previous trials, but the court is still accommodating them. We'll be keeping security here uh, after hours for a couple of hours every day. The trial could last through the beginning of March. Reporting outside the Allen County Courthouse, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15. And here are the four other people connected to the Richmond Hill explosion. Gary Thompson is facing 49 charges, including murder and arson. He and Glenn Holtz, who is only facing one charge, are expected to go on trial in June. Mark Leonard, Bob's half-brother, has already been convicted and sentenced to life without parole. Montserrat Shirley pleaded guilty and is testifying against Bob Leonard.